What's up, H-Town? This your Dreadhead host, Hot Topic TV. And I appreciate y'all joining me on everything H-Town Sports Debate Show. We got some hot topics today, baby, about the one and only Rockets. So strap up your boots and get ready. Let's go. I appreciate y'all joining me on everything H-Town Sports Debate Show. We got some hot topics today, some good topics to touch on. Is Raphael Stone responsible for the lack of accountability in the Rockets organization with the players, with the head coaches? Or is it Patrick Fatita? Do he have a little percentage in that problem? Even Tillman Fatita. I mean, as a businessman, Tillman Fatita will press his employees for excellence. But I don't know. As the Rockets owner, I don't know. Maybe he letting his son Patrick just do his thing. But I don't know. The accountability has to fall on more than one person than just Steven Salas. I understand they didn't pick up his fourth year option, but Raphael Stone is the one who pulling all the strings. Steven Salas was kind of like the puppet. At the same time, he could have put his foot down as a man. And if I'm a head coach, and someone is going to play or try to pull strings on me and tell me how I should handle the players or what players I should play or if I can discipline the players, and you just going to have to let me go. you got to cut me a check and let me go. So he's part to blame. And, um, you know, I feel bad for him. I feel bad that he got the ax and, you know, he's a nice guy. You know, he's humble. He's likable. He's respectable. You know, even veteran players, you know, Luka Dantich. I mean, a lot of players respect him. He's He has a great offensive mind, but his personality does not mesh well with a lot of young 19 to 20 to 21 year old players who needs that discipline, who needs that stability, who needs direction. You know, they, they kind of it's just like a teenager. If you have a teenager at home, you know what it's like. You have to steer them in a certain direction or they will just fall off the planet. So I think to me, Raphael Stone should should have got the ax as well. He shouldn't be here. I do respect some of the talent that he brung in in the, in the middle of the first round, a little after the lottery, like um, Tari Eason and uh, Shagoon. Shagoon was like 16, like the 16th pick in Easton was like the 17th pick, and then he traded a bunch of highly protected picks to get your goons. So I respect some of his willing and dealing in the mid-rounds. I believe Tata Washington, he's probably one of the more pure point guards that we have on the roster as far as a distributor. He has some work to do on his shot and on his game a little bit, but he is a pure distributor, has a nice lights-out floater. Um, but... Steven Silas, man, I mean, he just didn't do it for me. And I'm, I'm kind of relieved, but I'm not relieved because I don't like to see anyone lose their job, even though this man makes millions and he will be paid dearly. But I can say the situation that he came into it was supposed to be with James Harden and Russell Westbrook, and then that kind of blew up in his face, and then they kind of had to, you know, scramble and come up with a way that they was going to try to build this Rockets team. So he was he was partly the fall guy, but he was partly the reason that there was no accountability. Um, Tillman Fatita, I mean, he was so tired of it. They caught up with him at Mardi Gras, and he was like, pray for Victor. You know, we need some help here. So I kind of understand him, and I feel the same way. I'm praying for a quality candidate at head coach who can put his foot down, who has control of this roster, who can sit someone down if they don't hustle back and get on defense. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm pretty sure all you Rockets fans are looking for the same thing. I'm not saying we go to the playoffs. I'm not saying that we go to the play in, but I'm tired of winning just 20 games, 19 games, things of those natures, man. Kind of bump it up this year three, man. It's year three of the rebuild. Bump it up. Let me get 30 games, maybe with a possibility to get into the play in. You know, even if we lose, I want to see some production. 
I want to see another level of basketball. I want to see plays. I want to see accountability. I want to see ball movement. I want to see team basketball. You know, so the Rockets is almost like everybody in the ISO, every man trying to get his own buckets and outdo the next player when this is the NBA, baby. You playing with grown men and they will run you out the gym if you don't come with your A game every day. So to me, Raphael Stone should have been out of here as well. He done some good things uh, for Steven Silas, man. Good luck. Good luck. Um, they got some great coaching candidates like Frank Vogel, Nick Nurse, um, the guy from Boston Celtics. Um, I like those coaching candidates. You know, I like the way, though, they, they, you know, the reportings of those coaches. I like I like the candidate list pretty much. I just hope they make the right pick. I just hope they find the right fit and someone that can actually make these make these players play hard. Somebody can make them get back on defense. Somebody that will run a simple pick and roll. Somebody that will play to the strengths of Shagoon. Somebody that will get Jabari Smith involved in the offense. Somebody that will stop Kevin Porter Jr. from shooting shots and going to the basket over the whole team, the whole five starting lineup on an off opposite team. He'll just take it to the basket. It's five people, four of his teammates wide open. And he's trying to get a bucket by himself to show that he can do it. I mean, I hope somebody can stop that because that was driving me crazy. But I appreciate y'all joining me on everything H-Town Sports Debate Show. Check me out again. H-Town, peace.